for a lot of people who are who are are watching this, they're already aware of uh, at least one famous precedent that was set for brain anatomy being depicted in the Renaissance artwork, and that was with Michelangelo's painting of the creation of Adam on the Sistine Chapel. So the precedent was set in the October 10th, 1990 issue of the Journal of American Medical Association when a Dr. Frank Meshberger had an article published in which he presented a theory that Michelangelo had depicted a brain in his painting of the creation of Adam on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. And he made a pretty obvious observation that when you look at the figure of God in that painting and all the figures that surround him and the forms that surround him, that you're looking at a sagittal cross-section of the brain. Meshberger's paper demonstrates a direct correlation in both the external form and at the same time the sagittal or cross-sectional view of the human brain. In this comparison, we see that the compositional elements correspond to specific structures and features of the human brain. The first correspondence we see is from the main axes. In this comparison, the plane of the cerebrum is indicated in the composition. In relationship to this is the axis or sweep of the god figure, a match with the sweep and angle of the corpus callosum and the brainstem. The area corresponding to the brainstem indicated here in the painting, are rendered in a lighter, more white palette compared to the areas corresponding to the cerebrum, which are darker and rendered with a red, peach, and orange palette. This is the sulcus, or fissure, or space between the parietal lobe and the occipital lobe. In the corresponding area of the painting, the folds of cloth and the arcing posture of the cherubim indicate this same line. The sweep of God's left arm corresponds to the shape and location of the corpus callosum. The eye line and mouth of Sophia continue the line and reinforce the correspondence. The right leg of the cherubim behind God's right shoulder is similar in shape and location to the front of the singular gyrus. The hard articulation of God's wrist is a clear correspondence to the splenum of the corpus callosum. The left hand is reaching down towards the Son figure in this holy trilogy of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This gesture corresponds to the relationship of the corpus callosum to the cerebellum, which the sun figure brilliantly embodies. Another indicator that the sun corresponds to the cerebellum is the placement of the fourth ventricle in the arrangement of God's legs. Notice the distinct triangular shape. Here, the quadrigeminal system is indicated. The pineal gland sits in this cavern, which is located above the fourth ventricle. Indicated here in the painting is the pituitary. Inside the sweep of the corpus callosum in the arm of God, arising from the area corresponding to the third ventricle, is Sophia, symbolic of the wisdom of God. Each point provides an even deeper sense of reverence for the profound aesthetic genius the painting demonstrates.